What's up guys, Meredith with Extreme Train and today we are in beautiful Las Vegas at SEMA 2023. I'm gonna go in in a little bit and show you all of the Toyotas, 4Runner, Tundra, Tacoma, everything uh, all across the show. So if you're not subscribed, make sure that you like and subscribe for more cool content like this. Let's go. Starting off strong in the Toyota booth with the 2024 Tacoma. As you can see behind me, this is the TRD Pro in that beautiful Terra color. And as you can see, uh, it's got a very aggressive front end that I really love. You've got the rigid lighting down at the bottom, built into the bumper and up here um, underneath that Toyota symbol. Um, love what they did when it comes to the small details. As you can see, the TRD Pro emblem, um, a beautiful TRD wheel on a Goodyear Wrangler uh, 33, that beefy suspension on the inside there, those built aluminum upper control arms. And this thing just looks sleek with all of the black accents best part about this is this terra color this is brand new um, terracotta play on words I think that it looks fantastic um, and one of the best features about it is that we've been seeing this for a while with all of their um, sneak peeks with the Tacoma but this little button here tailgate just comes down it's absolutely effortless you get a bunch of LED lighting in the trunk those cargo lights and side lighting and when you're done it closes for you what more could you ask for out of the 2024 Tacoma? Absolutely. One of the coolest things by far out of the Toyota booth is this X Runner concept. Uh, this thing is sick. You've got um, huge wheels on the front, all of this functional arrow on the front as well. And what's best about this is they stuffed a uh, Tundra motor underneath the hood. So it is that twin turboed V6 uh, underneath the hood. This thing is beautiful paint match up on the tonneau cover there and some exhaust right out the side like I said this is all functional down at the bottom there when it comes to uh, the arrow so this thing is sick I love I absolutely love the color and the red and black details if you don't need everything on the TRD Pro, the TRD Off-Road is a fantastic option. I love what they did up front. It still has a lot of details of the uh, Pro model with the lighting in the grill and the matte black accents. Um, you even have a little bit of arrow over on the fender here. And I love the way that it's offset with this super bright orange color. You also have a beautiful TRD wheel with a Wild Peak all-terrain tire. And you can't really see inside that wheel well but it still does have that Bilstein um, suspension system. Um, it does have the matte black fenders uh, in the back and with the TRD off-road you get the tailgate feature over on the taillight. Very cool. I'm still over in the Toyota booth but I'm over on the track and trail side and you'll see why in just a second. Uh, now this is the Trail Hunter edition. Exactly what you see is how you can outfit it for the factory. I love what they did with the 2024 Tacoma when it comes to the front end. I love it, this little thing here um, as well uh, right underneath that headlight and you can even see the little Trail Hunter logo but it really comes down to what is outfitted on this. Uh, you have a bronze 18 inch wheel, a Goodyear Wrangler tire there, um, the over fender, set of rock sliders on the side, and an ARB chase rack on the back. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I love it in this white color. And of course you have the iForce Max motor. Another trail hunter over at the track and trail side of the Toyota booth. I love what they did on the front end when it comes to those rigid lights and right underneath Toyota. You can also see some lighting there. Um, same thing as what we saw with the white one, bronze 18 inch wheels with the Wrangler Goodyear tires, those side skirts, but also on the back, you can outfit it like this as well. This is an ARB chase rack with a roof rack on top. Uh, you have some uh, tracks boards over on the side, ARB camping tent, and a nice little ARB cooler. Very cool. Can't forget about the Tundra in the sea of 2024 Tacomas. This has the iForce Max V6 twin turbo underneath the hood. 
20 inch 20 inch TRD wheels um, and some side steps over on the side. I love that it comes up onto the rocker panel, give you all of that protection that you need, and then a rack on the back, fully outfitted for wherever you need to go. Checking out this beautiful Forerunner. This is a premium option um, or the TRD off-road premium package. So it's a little bit sleeker than what we normally see with uh, more of the rugged off-road uh, Tacomas and Tundras here and Forerunners, but you have a beautiful TRD wheel and this is outfitted with a pretty sleek sidestep on the side there. Um, you have the TRD off-road badging. This one specifically has TRD uh, tracks as far as vinyl is concerned and I love what they did up top when it comes to the Yakima uh, roof rack and you also have what I think is a bike rack up there. I could be totally wrong, um, but you have that option right out of the factory and this thing is beautiful. This thing is very cool. Obviously you gotta put it on its own uh, thing here, spinning, but this is the Toyota FJ45 pickup truck um, built to the brim with a curry axle there. Um, and 42 inch BF Goodrich tires um, on a 20 inch method wheel. Uh, it's got a Fox suspension setup. A lot of custom work into this, if you can't tell. Beautiful paint job um, and look at that weld job in there. That's as far as the frame and cradle is concerned, that is absolutely awesome. Talk about flex. I'm over at the Eaton booth um, and this thing is awesome. It's a 2019 Tacoma TRD uh, or just a, a TRD off-road. And as you can see, the FXH uh, bead locks wrapped in a Mickey Thompson Baja 37 inch tire. It's absolutely beautiful. All of this armor is C4 uh, fabrication and the reason why it's in uh, the Eaton booth. I'll bring you around front. Got a sick suspension set up by Dirt King. Um, but this is a Harrop supercharger on top um, and it's got all of the Eaton internals. Very sleek C4 rock runner front bumper and a worn winch hiding in there with Factor 55 Fairlead and uh, lock right on the front. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Over at Magnuson Superchargers, this 2024 uh, Tundra is absolutely awesome. You can see those twin cold air intakes um, on that twin turboed uh, V6. Some beautiful headlights. I love the way <laughs> that they do these headlights with the sleek projectors. Uh, we got some Baja lighting on the front in the grill and in that very sleek bumper. The corner is super clean there with that cut fender. Got some method wheels and some BF Goodrich tires. Pretty simple uh, Go Rhino sidestep. And then on the back, a C4 uh, Fab rear bumper and ton of cover. Very sleek when it comes to this build. Have you ever seen a Tundra dumped on its face? Well, now you have. This is a Platinum Tundra that has an airlift uh, performance suspension on it. As you can see, this is super tucked in there. A huge granite wheel, um, super clean. I mean, that's really all that's going on with this build because it's the Platinum model. Everything's super sleek. Everything's paint matched and honestly, when this is aired up, I'm sure it looks great. In the airlift booth, checking out this TRD Pro Tundra here. This thing is super sleek, a ton of Baja lighting on the front of it, but the best part of all is actually in the back. So you do have a huge roof rack here, but this also has a smart cap on the back. All of the kitchen equipment, this is super cool in here, all organized. You even have a little two burner stove um, and a pretty sick suspension and wheel setup. Uh, Yokohama 37 inch tires, uh, 17 very sleek black rhino wheels, and of course, a very beefy king suspension. And you have more lighting on the back, as well as a camper. This thing is set up to go places. I love it. I'm over at the ARB booth checking out one of their trail hunters. Uh, now we were over in the Toyota booth earlier checking everything out. So a lot of this can come out of the factory, um, but ARB partners with them to do that. So the ARB 
uh, rack on the back, the chase rack with this good old compartment over on the side. Also had the Airbnb uh, rooftop camper, the refrigerator in the back, and really everything that you would need, the recovery, the uh, tread boards, and you could uh, pop this right up. But it also has the ARB front and rear bumpers, and of course, something that they teased before, this ARB um, tow hook. Very cool. Also over at the ARB booth, you can see that they have this 2023 uh, SR5 Tundra with a sick front bumper that fits incredibly well. And you have to do a little choppy chop over on the side, but honestly, this looks fantastic. A ton of amber lighting, you know we love it. Uh, some side steps and all of the recovery gear that literally you could ask for. Um, some tread boards uh, and a ton of other stuff. Uh, Jack, shovel, of course that ARB cooler and you even have a, uh, a spare in the back. I'm over at the Paramount booth and there are a ton of cool things on this 2020 uh, Tacoma here. Look at that poke. That is awesome with the Maxxis uh, tires here and those beautiful weld wheels. But they have a ton of armor on this thing. Super sleek front bumper. You got to do again a little choppy chop, but uh, it looks really good. Also have some amber lighting in the front with a worn winch and a Factor 55 Ultra Hook snorkel, uh, carbon fiber hood, and some amber lighting up top. Best part of all, all of the storage that you get out of this thing, a roof rack, a bed rack with a camper on top, and a speaker bar. Solid build. I'm over at DPI checking out their 2022 uh, Tundra here. And this is a super sleek build in my opinion. Just a little bit of recovery up front, uh, some voodoo recovery. Over on the side, we have uh, some method wheels with a Nitto Terror Grappler. It's a 37 uh, on that 18 there, beautiful. And a beautiful uh, suspension on the inside. But what I really like about this thing is actually in the back. We've got a ton of recovery um, and lighting from Scorpion, but this thing is awesome. This is a flush mounted uh, Scorpion carrier here. So you can swing this out when you need it, roll it off the back and then pop it back in and pop the tailgate back up. That is really cool. And also we have this rack here, modular with some extra lighting and an ARB on top. Very, very cool. I'm over at the Body Armor 4x4 booth and I'm a sucker for a black and white build. This thing is super clean. It's got a 33 on it with a Dirty Life um, simulated beadlock wheel, white and black to complement everything else. A very cool um, spare tire carrier with a fifth tire on there. I love this little wing as protection and that step there. Some brand new rock sliders to the Forerunner a roof rack with a ton of rigid lighting. And then right around the front, you've got lighting in the grill behind the Toyota emblem. And then this bumper is stunning when it comes to the fitment over on the side here, super flush. And of course, more lighting. This thing is pretty badass. Good job, Body Armor. Checking out a very cool Forerunner, an older generation Forerunner in the Inspired Off-Road booth. I love this tubed front bumper, um, especially on the outside, and of course, some more Baja design, uh, the yellow um, small light bars in front. I love that this has a polished wheel. You don't see that too often. I've been seeing a lot of bronze, uh, but this is a beadlock um, XD wheel with a Falcon uh, RT tire and some pretty beefy suspension uh, by Inspired Performance, that resi on the front and the aluminum uh, upper control arm. I love this too. Uh, this is, this molly panel is suctioned uh, to the window in the back, uh, shaped exactly to the window and attaches up top. Overall, I, I love this 4Runner build. 
I'm over at the TRE booth and this Tacoma here is very sleek in my opinion uh, and super functional out back. So I'll show you around. These are a Falcon mesh wheel. Uh, I love that it's a polished wheel and not a bronze wheel like we've been seeing. A uh, hand cook tire, subtle little rock rail which I do really like and a full bedrock with a camper up on top, Rotopax, and what I like about it is that it's got a two-tier system to it in addition to some TRE lights. We saw that up front too, and of course a mount for a track board. Very cool. I'm over at the DZ booth checking out this very cool Tundra, but there's a couple things on this that I haven't seen before and I really love about it. Um, obviously, we have a super slick combo of a method wheel, a chunky tire, and a Fabtech suspension. I do love these side steps. You can see that these steps are on a rail and fully adjustable. Best part of all is on the back here for sure. This is a split tonneau cover as you can see and it slides on the rail on the bed rack so that's awesome in itself that bike wasn't up there it would fold all the way up and there's also a hidden drawer very very cool I'm in the Alpha Rex booth with this really cool tundra here. I love the lighting and the overall super sleek setup on this thing. First and foremost, these lights are killer. I love the quad projector setup and that sleek styling. You've got a Nitto 37 inch uh, tire, trail grappler and SSW polish wheels. Those look great, especially on this like uh, gray color. And then on the back, you have this cap here. But I love that it's simple. I love that it's sleek and it looks really good. Weston has a super cool Tacoma here. This is a 2021 Tacoma with a mid-width front bumper and super winch uh, in the front. Also has a set of machined or polished wheels. I love that look, switching it up and some Bilstein suspension right on the inside. Super cool uh, rocker here. I love that it has this little lip to clean up the look and this cap on the back. Uh, you have a little roof rack on top of there. You can carry whatever you want. You also have a hitch mounted tire carrier. So I love that you can add the Pro Series bumper and you can also add this on separately if you need a spare. This is super cool and very well built. So that is a wrap on SEMA 2023. As you can see, this is the year of Toyota. Everything is out here. Uh, Tundra and Tacoma really took it all over. Make sure that you like and subscribe again and tell me what your favorite build was in the comments. And remember, for all things Toyota, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.